Instant Gun Frankincense. A beer perfect for a little baby Jesus. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is by Innocent Gun, and it is their Frankincense. Golden A, Matured Over Gold, Frankincense, and Myrrh, Limited Edition. Yes, I know this beer is a tad old, not that old, a few months, but I'm just getting into it, getting to it now. So, let's take off the little card it has. It's in this nice, sort of like, starry paper on it. Let's remove the paper and see what the bottle looks like. See if I can do this in one fail swoop. I probably won't be able to. Let's do a little bit of unwrapping and bring out the bottle. No. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. All the information's on the bottle as well. So we'll just throw this away. And here is the beer. Big, what is it, 500 ml bottle. Looking very nice, frankincense. Really, uh, you know, like gold lettering. Quite nice, quite nice. Limited edition. Coming in at 5.8% alcohol by volume and an unknown IBU. So, let's crack it open, see what we got. I'm actually quite excited for this beer, uh-oh. And that happens. That sometimes happens. It just pops and then it goes everywhere and overflows. But I caught most of it this time. Usually it goes way over and that's never a good time. But I think I caught most of it there. Set that down nice and gentle. Let's do a little bit of cleanup and cleanup time. Look at that, it looks like a nipple. Huh? And we're going to be pouring it into my Innocent Gun Tulip Style glass. And let's pour. There we go. We're going to pour about eh, half a glass in here just so I can have some stuff to enjoy after, but at least get a nice full uh, flavor profile and all that jazz of the beer itself. But look at that. Look at that decent head on there. A little hazy, sort of an amber orangish color to it. Looks quite Nice indeed. Good amount of carbonation coming through. Very nice looking beer. Frankincense is, uh, what is frankincense? Isn't that some like aroma or like perfumish sort of stuff? I could be totally wrong with that. I don't know what frankincense is, but it's in the Bible and that's what baby Jesus got from the three wise men. Frankincense and myrrh. So without further ado, let's stick my nose in here and see what kind of smells we have. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. It smells nice. You get some like florally, perfumey aroma almost off of it. Sweet sort of, oh, I don't know what that is in there. It's interesting. It smells florally, smells fruity. It smells a bit hoppy, not too much. Maybe a bit malty. But yeah, it smells, it smells quite inviting. Let's have a sip and then we'll cheers. Ooh. It's a weird aftertaste. Like a, uh, like a metallic-y, old flowery kind of aftertaste. Hmm. It smells better than it tastes. It is a bit hoppy, a little spicy. Sort of, sort of it so far. Let's continue on. Cheers, everybody. Hoppy in the beginning, a little malt bodiness to it. Tastes sort of wood, woody, spices, and then a weird aftertaste of like perfume aftertaste you know when you spray perfume or cologne or something and maybe get some in your mouth sort of what i'm getting in the aftertaste a little bit not the greatest 
aftertaste by any means. Flavors are a little bit everywhere. Um, it may be because it is a little bit older than I would have liked, but it's not that old that it, I think it would change uh, dramatically from uh, if I bought it uh, or if I drank it earlier when I got it kind of thing. I actually got this for Christmas from my parents. It smells nice. It tastes okay. That aftertaste is a real big um, bummer sort of thing. Sort of really puts you off the beer. It's uh, Flavors are definitely mixed and jumbled. It doesn't flow that well at all. <coughs> it's just something different. But let's see what the bottle has to say for itself. From the Innocent Gun Brewing Company. This year, our very own three wise guys, three, yeah, three wise guys, Ken, Dougal, and Fergus, came together to brew a festive beer with a difference. Arms lab, uh, ladled with gold, frankincense, and myrrh, they began to experiment, they, blah, 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 blah. they began their, their experimenting, and with a little guidance from the big guy, frankincense was born. A golden ale packed full of lovely hop and malt character, the celestial brew has been elevated to a different plane by the addition of three of the three of the of three of the oldest ingredients in the book. I can't read today apparently. That's okay. Uh, product of Scotland, blah 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 contains barley. Um Matured over gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That's really all the information it has on it. No, uh, no brood on date, no ingredients really other than contains barley and frankincense and myrrh that it was matured over. All that fun stuff and things, but not much else information. Then again, an Innocent Gun is a bigger brewery, not really a traditionally craft brewery. I guess a more mainstream kind of thing. So they don't usually get into all that extra little tidbitty stuff. Like I said, it's not bad. It's a little jumbled. Definitely, uh, definitely more acquired of a style or at least profile, in my opinion. Looking over on the website now, uh, www.innocentgun.com. Come over to Frankincense, and it has the same description as on the bottle. But down in the tasting notes, they do have tasting notes. <clears throat> Aromas are luscious malt and some red fruits and a little floral hop. Tastes are sharp hop bitterness balanced with buttered toast notes from the malt. The finish is warming and balanced. The malts that were used are extra pale ale and Munich malts, and the hops are Hercules, Centennial, and Cascade. So very nice to see that they do have tasting notes on their website as well, which is actually good on you. Awards of the Champion Christmas Beer of 2017 as voted by Camera. I don't, don't know what Camera is. C-A-M-R-A. -A, some sort of award system thing. Drink. Yeah, it's not bad. Flavors for me are a little jumbled up. It gets better when you keep drinking it. That aftertaste sort of goes away a little bit. Or at least blends in. A bit nicer those malts sort of come forward a bit more the hoppiness is there but it's not as jumbled up in the mix it starts to flow a little bit better as you drink uh, on and maybe if it warms up a little bit more that's what I'm experiencing right now I don't get that crazy weird awkwardly perfumey aftertaste there's still that bit of hoodiness in there which is Quite a nice addition, at least to my palate. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Moving over to Untap now, Frankincense has been given a 3.39 bottle caps out of 5, out of just over 1,600 ratings. So it's a fairly solid amount of ratings and uh, uh, average rating sort of count thing. Sorry. 
With that said, it looks like we are down to our final sip, so as we always do, choose the final sip and let's get rate to ratings. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Frankincense by Innocent Gun. Ooh. Rating for the beer. You know what? The flavors are there. They're all right. They're not the greatest in my opinion. And for most of the part of the beer, they were a little jumbled up between each other. They were stumbling over each other a little bit. And it was really hard to figure out what you're tasting at the moment. Um, at least, what, for, for me kind of thing. Smells really great. Mouthfeel is quite nice, very creamy. A little bit of carbonation, but not too much. And a nice hoppy sort of tingling on your tongue. Maybe that's from the spices as well that I'm getting. But for the beer itself, I gotta give this, you know what, I gotta give it a 6 out of 10. Just because it is so jumbled up um, in, the, in all the flavors kind of thing, it doesn't really, you know, I don't enjoy it as much as I would want to. Um, moving over to presentation now, <clears throat> you know, the little wrapping on there was a very nice addition. Cool little calling card thing. And the bottle, they always have a nice label, Innocent Gun, Frankincense, and Gold here. Playing on the theme. Good description in the, in the, uh, on the back side. ABVs are listed. No IBUs, no brood on date. Um, ingredients is kind of there. This is more just legal information that they need to put on for like allergies and all that. Extra jazz. But the website makes makes up for it a little bit with just the addition of the tasting notes. That is quite neat, but the tasting notes and then the types of malts and hops that are used, that's actually a little bit more of a bonus. So with that said, I gotta give presentation a seven out of 10, just because they are lacking ingredients, um, IBUs, bottle on date kind of thing, but that's just me being nitpicky. With that said, before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. And that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.